Jesse. Well, welcome to our Wings Over Water Bird Show. My name is Colleen, together with Liz right over there. <laughs> and together, we're going to take you on a trip around the world, and we're going to introduce you guys to a lot of birds we have from all over. And we'll be telling you a little bit more about those birds and their environments. But before we get started, I have a small favor to ask of everyone. So you guys can come on in and grab a seat, get nice and comfortable before I ask this favor. All right. Now I do need everyone to please remain seated while any of the birds are out here on stage. You want to come on in and scoot in real quick? Good, okay, so everyone's gonna remain seated because we have a lot of birds coming up close and personal to you guys. And this is for your safety because a lot of these birds are pretty dangerous. And we don't want anyone getting hurt from any of those dangerous birds that might be coming out and taking a look. It's been a while. Oh, no! <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I can tell from your laughter that I didn't fool you one bit. So that's of course just a rooster. He's not dangerous. But he is out here to emphasize that very important point, and that's about as close as a lot of the birds are going to come to you guys. So it is very important that you don't stand up, make a lot of noise, definitely don't try to reach out and touch any of our birds, and it's not only for your safety, it's also for the safety and comfort of our animals. But if you guys do need to exit at any point during the show, that's perfectly fine. We just ask that you wait until the birds are behind the scenes with trainer Liz and that both bird and trainer are behind that door before you stand up to exit. Or if you need to stand up and move seats around, just wait until those guys are behind the door. And if you guys are exiting in the middle of the show, that's fine. Just use this side with our volunteers and docents in their yellow shirts and they'll help you out. Just give them a nice big wave. She'll be there for you. Sound good? Yeah. All right, we ready to take off with those birds? spending time with your family and friends. Yay! Yeah, most of you guys, probably a big reason why you're here at the zoo today. And for a lot of birds, this is also the case, but usually birds like owls, hawks, and eagles are what we call solitary animals, and they spend most of their time alone. Now there's one hawk that's the exception to this rule, because she likes spending time with her family and friends, because it helps to ensure her survival out in the wild, and that bird is going to be the Harris hawk. So please meet Austin. She's our female Harris Hawk flying on out. Now I did mention that Harris Hawks are social. So they're doing a social behavior called group hunting. It's where a bunch of Harris Hawks come together and they hunt together so they can take down much larger prey items that can feed more birds for longer periods of time. Now these guys are native to the desert areas around Texas, Arizona, and New Mexico. And hunting out in those deserts means you need to be up very high to see over a very far distance in the desert. But sometimes the highest place in a desert is a telephone pole or electrical line. And unfortunately, electrocution has resulted in about a 50% decline in our population of Harris hawks. Now that's also affecting perching vertebrae right here in Florida, like the bald eagle. So if you guys would like to help out, I just encourage you guys to talk to your local electricians and promote the installation of wiring and underground wiring. Both methods, both methods are very effective in keeping those safe birds safe. What do you guys think of meeting Austin, that Harris 